Hey guys, welcome to How To Work Vlog. Uh, another quick video today. I want to show you how to install crossbars on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is for the 2011 up to the most recent 221 models. Um, you do need this installed on your Jeep to in install these. So most Jeeps come with this now. So you have this. This is what you're gonna order. I'm gonna show you guys a link below to where you can order them on Amazon, where I got these guys from. They're all black. Um, very easy to install. Comes with a simple manual to follow, but I'm doing this video so you don't have to. Uh, even a warranty. Comes with the keys to unlock the sides. I'll show you what that is for later. And a little hex wrench to install them. And that's really all you're gonna need. Um, you need these when you wanna put a roof rack on your car. Or if you wanna put skis, bikes, anything, you need at least these. So um, it's an inexpensive purchase and it does make your Jeep look a little cooler. So I'm gonna show you guys right now how to install this and that's it. All right guys, let's get started. So get a step stool or something to get on top of the side of your car so you can safely work here. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Your SUV, should, SUV Jeep or whatever should have these rails on the sides. You need this to attach your crossbars too. They have this little metal groove here that hooks into theirs. You tighten everything together and that's what holds to your car. Another thing you have to remember with these, there is a front and a back. The back section means the face in the back of the car. It's the smoothed out section. This little rough section here with the little groove line, that's what's facing the front of the car. So both pieces are the same, but what, they both need to be facing the correct direction. Uh, so remember that. So I'm gonna peel this back. It's just clips in. We're gonna loosen up two of these screws. This first one here, closer to the edge, we're gonna unscrew more than this one. This one we're only gonna do so it's loose, so this can slide. This is to adjust and if your top is a little different in size. Uh, this one we need to unscrew until it's flush over here because this bolt is gonna prohibit you from getting this wedged in here. So we're gonna loosen this up till it's flush. Now, these metal, I can pull this out a little bit to show you. These little metal grooves are gonna hook in here. So this is what we're gonna do now. Just lay it flat and slow. And that's it. So now line up where you want it. As I'm doing it as far apart as possible, closest to the front here. Uh, I'm gonna tighten this up. See if it grabs. Yep, it's coming down, that means it's grabbing. I'm gonna tighten up the second screw. I'm not gonna go full yet, as I wanna go to the other side. So we're gonna do the same idea on the other end. We're gonna tighten everything up and see what it looks like. So same idea on the other side. I'm gonna loosen the first screw. This one we're gonna loosen so we can click that in. So about a half an inch up, I would say. A little, maybe an inch. Here, so until it gets to the top, and that should do it. All right, so now this is all moving. I'm gonna pull this actually metal out so it's easier for me to grab. And I'm in. Now I'm just gonna tighten this up. Tighten this up. Fully tighten this now. I can feel it I'm here grabbing. As you can see, it's all flush here. That means I hold it all the way down. So this is not going anywhere now. Let's snap this rubber back in. So, you know, this is a lot of pain to get in, but you want it in there tight so water doesn't get in. Get this side in first, and then push this one in on an angle. And that's how you work your way in all the way. And there you go. Nice and flush. So I'm going to the other side and show you guys the finished product. So I also wanted to show you guys what these keys are for. Each side has a lock here. I'm going to unlock this, you pull this off, 
now you have access to this groove. So if you peel this rubber off, you have a groove, some roof racks, some attachments, bike attachments, slide on and lock in there. This is all universal. So that's what this is for. Um, but otherwise, you're not gonna use this. So, you know, make sure you have these keys handy, at least one pair, it comes with two. And I also wanted to show you guys the distance, actually, that we worked with on the Jeep here. So from the inside groove to the inside groove, it's 42 inches. So if the SUV is 42 inches space, this should fit yours as well. You know, this is specifically for Jeeps, at least that's what it says, but you know, it might fit others. So uh, I'll give you guys a quick look at the whole thing now. So this is it guys, this is what it looks like. Actually, it looks really cool on the Jeep. When you throw the roof rack on there, which is another video got coming, um, car's gonna look pretty sweet. Um, thank you for watching, please subscribe, please, fo please follow. Um, any questions, let me know. Uh, I believe this was pretty straightforward, but I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, and thank you.